Hi, today we are going to do this bag, the Parisian, and we're going to do it out of fabric batting with just a center of vinyl. Okay, all right, I have my no show poly mesh hooped and I'm going to stitch the placement. Okay, I stitched my placement. Now I'm gonna take my zipper and it goes face up or zip up. And I'm gonna center it right between these top two lines and tape it down. Okay, as I said, I am doing this one out of fabric, so the next step after the zipper is batting. If you're doing um, vinyl, you might not want to use batting, but I'm doing fabric. Be right back. Okay, it's tacked down my batting. Now you're going to go around and you're going to trim it as close to the stitch as you can. That way it's not bulky when we turn it right side out. Okay, so you see I've trimmed it all the way around. Okay, now we're going to turn our hoop over and we're going to take our lining and we are going to tape our lining face down just below the zipper line, just like that. And as you know, I tape to my hoop and I tape down here. And now we're going to turn our hoop over and depending on your hoop you know how you want to do it but I roll my lining up and then I tape it down right here I tape it just so it doesn't come all get caught up under anything or get caught in my machine okay so now that the lining's there you're going to take your fabric I had to get my fabric fabric for your bag the base of your bag and you're just gonna put it here um, because you're gonna trim it here so it really doesn't matter if it's up over I like a little extra because then I can grab it when I'm trying to trim so then you're gonna send this over it's gonna do a tack down right here across the top and then it'll do the stitch around here okay wait let me back up I'm doing fabric not vinyl so I am going to put my fabric face down right here below the zipper and I'm gonna tape it you can do it either way honestly either way you can have it face up and then trim it or you can do it this way and when it stitches pull it down I'll have this raw edge underneath and just hidden even though the satin stitch will cover it doesn't matter I want this so face down just below the zipper put it on the machine it's going to do a stitch right here okay tacked it down so now I'm going to pull this fabric down just like this and it's going to put a stitch around here and then it's going to do the side design stitch like this Okay, my damask fabric kind of makes you lose the fleur de lis, but they're there. <laughs> oh well, it's just to show you how it stitches anyway. All right, it also did the placement stitch here, and I am going to use white vinyl, I think. I was going to use black, but I think I'll just use white. And, uh,. I didn't cut pre-cut this because I didn't know which color I was going to use. So I'll just use the white. Okay, now I'll go do the tack down. Okay, it's tacked down the vinyl. Now you're going to go ahead and trim it. And this is if you did not fold your fabric under or you used lining as your base here. Make sure you trim it close to the seam as well because uh, the satin stitch is going to go over it and if you don't have it trimmed close it's not going to look very nice do not cut the bottom of this off it'll go under your um it'll sew up in the bottom of your purse that way it doesn't come off and on the front you know like rip up just leave some extra down there okay now i'll send it back over to the machine and do the 
sand stitch. Okay, after I placed my vinyl and trimmed it, it did the tack down. Then it went ahead, I mean the satin stitch, and then it stitched the tower. Okay, now you are going to take your hoop, turn it over. Well, first remove your tape if you tape the front down for your lining. And you're going to turn your hoop over. And you're going to pull your lining down. And I always tape mine down here at the bottom so it stays taut like that. And then you're going to send it over the machine and it's going to tack the lining down in place. Okay, it's tacked the lining down and it also went ahead and did the placement stitches for the purse handle tabs. I am going to open my zipper now so I don't forget. And I always tape down my tab my zip okay and I'm going to tape my my purse tabs in place wherever I want them you can kind of put them where you want but there are placement stitch and tack down right there and right there and you just kind of want to make sure they're uh, even from side to side and up and down okay all right, I'm gonna go tack them down. Okay, it's tacked them both down, okay? So once again, make certain your zipper's open, okay? If you want a pocket on the back of your purse, now is when you're gonna put it. I'm gonna have a pocket out of fabric and it just needs to be below the zipper. So I'm gonna put mine, yeah, I'm gonna say right about there. Okay, usually I tape it down so it doesn't move, but this is fabric, and usually fabric doesn't slide like vinyl. Then, and as you can see, let me back up here. I have two pieces, or one piece of fabric folded in half because it is fabric, and I don't want it real thin. And I have a little dog that wants outside or something, so I'm going to put this right here. No, I want it down a little more. I'm going to put it right there. And it's kind of wherever you want it. There's no rule where your pocket has to be. You just want to make sure it's even. Then you're going to take your back fabric and you're going to place it down over top of all of that. Okay. And once again, because I'm doing fabric and not vinyl, I am also going to put a piece of batting down. So I have all this stuff together. I have my, my pocket, my back fabric, and my batting, okay? Now I'm gonna go stitch it all together. Okay, it's sandwiched all this together. Now you're gonna make sure you just get the batting and you are going to trim the batting as close to the stitch as you can, okay? Don't get the fabric underneath, you just want the batting. And you want to trim it all the way around. And this will just stop your, your seams from being so bulky when you try to turn it right side out. Otherwise it'll be like really fat and hard to get nice and neat. So just go ahead and trim this all the way around. Okay, as you can see, it's all trimmed. My batting's all trimmed. Now we're going to turn our hoop over. I am going to uh, cut out my, uh, right here where my zipper go, where my zipper is, that piece of uh, stabilizer. Well, I was going to cut it. What the heck? Okay, there we go. I'm going to trim this out. You can do it afterwards, but I just find it's easier and faster to do it now. Just make sure you don't cut your uh, purse fabric. If you close your scissors really small, it slides a lot easier. Okay, all right, there we go. So now, I found every time I move this and that, it shakes the camera. Sorry about that, guys. I need to get a better stand. All right, here's my lining fabric. It goes face down over all of it, which is face down. 
face down <laughs> and tape it in place and then take it over and do the final stitch okay it's did the lining and it's left a opening there for the turning so I'm gonna remove all this tape from back here like I always do and oops All right, take it out of the hoop. Okay, where's my bottom? Take, I'm gonna fold back my linings and trim the bottom of my fabric. Make sure you pull back your linings, okay? And trim, and I trim about a quarter of an inch or so. down. It's way too much lining there, so I'm going to cut it off right there. Okay, now we're going to trim. On the bottom where your lining is, I always cut an angle like that. Just makes for when you're closing your bag easier and neater, okay? So. It's hard to see this black against black, I'm telling you. All right, there we go. So now, me, I like to Cut the corners off right there, too. We're going to take and turn it right side out between the lining. Okay. It's all pretty much all fabric, so it's usually a little easier when it's fabric versus uh, vinyl. Vinyl's not as quick to turn. Most of the vinyl I have, I've been using on the purses, has come from my punk broidery. She has a great selection and very quick shipping and decent prices. And on Tuesdays, you get discounts, thankful Tuesdays. It's nice. Just a shout out to Amy. Oh, where's my... This, here's my paintbrush poke my corners out okay and I always fold this in and I always struggle with the tape but I'm gonna use the tape it's two-sided fabric tape I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna cut it like that Peel it off. Oops. Try to peel it off. Peel it off. Then I'm gonna get stuck all over my fingers like I always do. <laughs> and I'm gonna fold it in there. In there. fingers so badly once you get it folded in there it's pretty easy okay there we go sorry about the shaking of the camera all right now um, take the tape off my zipper unzip the zipper the rest of the way Turn it right side out between the pocket and the front. Sorry. A 
Oh, see, now I don't know which one I like, the square corners or the round corners. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, there we go.